Welcome, my friends. So glad that you joined me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're going to be playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. If you guys enjoyed, you want to see more Car Mechanic Simulator in the future, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently today, so give me some feedback on things like this that you'd like to see. If you want to see more episodes like this, etc., etc. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think you would so i'm just doing some touches to our beautiful beautiful fake huna truck fake old school huna truck and um yeah we're gonna be doing one of those one of those episodes i told you i was gonna try and squeeze two in before or another car mechanic simulator in before the next one and i did it with very little time to spare but I did it. All right, that is the that is the point we need to focus on here. So in a second, we will put these wheels on our vehicle, and we're gonna get to some like spring cleaning, maybe put some head to heads, stuff like that. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff. I don't think we're gonna be building anything right now, but uh, you know we could do other things like uh, talk about the Super Bowl. Any football fans here? Oh, by the way, this is our beautiful deep purple chrome. Huna truck with I, I tried to get mint green that's that's not mint green at all I tried to get mint green oh, I gotta balance the wheels but um, I don't think I really got it I don't think I really got the mint but I also tried to keep it dark it's close it's like maybe like a spear mint you know what I mean what's your favorite mint there's so many like winter green and spear mint pepper mint where are they finding all these different kinds of mints I only care about one mint, the one that makes money, all right? Get me some of those kinds of mints. But uh, yeah, who, who do you think, if you're a football fan, who's going to win? I guess like by the time you see this, it might even be over. So you'll already know who won. I know most of the people that I know up here in Canada are rooting for the Patriots, which seems to be a controversial thing, I guess because nobody wants the Patriots to win more. It's like, oh man, these guys win all the time. Fuck Brady and the Patriots. They don't need and Belichick. They don't need any more. But um, I think the Rams got there by default, by uh, complete fluke. So do they really deserve it? You know, I don't know. I don't know. The Saints were there. I know who I would be cheering for, hands down, hands down. But we'll see. I guess we'll see. I do. I do know from the few the few American people that I have spoken to that they they kind of want the Rams to win. Which I don't fully understand, really. Although, you know, it is nice to see a new guy win. I just don't think it should have been the Rams. I think it should have been the Saints. And I can't get past that. I just can't. I can't. There is all four wheels. Painted and accounted for. I could have went maybe a little darker, but it's... It's really hard to paint vehicles when the lighting is so different. Got the hiccups all of a sudden. We're gonna make it. Um, but yeah, it looks, it looks a little darker when you get the right light on it and stuff. And then you see a little bit of the purple and like it looks black, but like with a bit of purple. I like it. It's looking mean. And it's looking ready. No, wait, not ready. Wait, is there a plate on this thing? Ooh. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Huna truck doesn't need no plate. Or fake Huna truck doesn't need no plate. So unfortunately, the beast plate idea cannot go on. But we'll just... We'll just imagine it. Everybody put your imagination caps on. Dust them off if you have to. I know some of you, you know, haven't used your imagination in a, in a few years. But, uh, get them out. You can put it wherever you want to. You can put it uh, offset to the side. Smack dab in the middle. Up in the window. I mean, sky's the limit. Where would you put your plate? Be careful. I got a $110 fine for having mine in the window. You've been warned. I'm I'm kind of excited here. I, I have no idea what's going to be here. We are starting from the very beginning. Parking Garage Zero. So these should be some of the oldest vehicles that we've done. No way. Live action Dumbo is coming to theaters. And it's adorable. Kind of freaky when it's live action and stuff. But other than that, it's adorable. My Hoonicorn... It's apparently broken. That's fine. Just permanently delete it. I don't care. Where even was it? Oh, right here. Goodbye, Hoonicorn. I barely knew ye. Ken Block needed you for a new Gymkhana series, I guess, so... 
that's gone. But here we are. This is the garage. <laughs> A lot of uh, large things in here, I can say that much. Clearly when I first started out, I just like to make things big. Just as big as humanly possible. So we actually have a couple vehicles that we never did over here. Which, if you want to see any of these vehicles done, feel free to request it. So we got the Mazda RX-3, the Luxor Bowen, I believe this is. Yes, the Luxor Bowen. Um, these two Jeeps are done. The Plymouth is done. There is another Plymouth that we didn't do. The one that glitched, and then we never ended up doing it again. Um, is this it? This is it! The Plymouth Roadrunner 426 Hemi. I wasn't sure if this was DLC or a mod, so I had to check. But there you go, so we got the, uh, the Plymouth Barracuda. Whoa, those are <laughs> some big wheels that we put on the back. And then we got the Plymouth Roadrunner. So if you want to see the Roadrunner, the Bowen, or the Mazda 3, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, let me know what your favorite car in this garage is. I kind of want to put a couple of, couple of cars head-to-head -head here. I mean, we got the tractor. We got the... <laughs> the Hot Wheels Twin Mill Donk Edition. We got the Magic School Jail Bus. Hop on the Magic Jail Bus. Take you right to jail. We got the Rocket Bunny. Nissan. Fair Lady. A.K.A. the 240Z. Mmm. It's looking good. That's looking good. If I had to pick one, I do like the Jeep combo we got going on. Just because I like collections. You know, I like, I like when you have a little bit of a theme going in your collection of or at least in your garage there's there's no theme here this is just all random beginner stuff but um you know this is when we first started making money and making our own things we got the pacer over here this was this was one of the first episodes that ever went big in car mechanic simulator 2015 was a vehicle exactly like this so that one's kind of special you got the bus, which of course is special. We only have f four slots available in the garage right now. So we got to come up with two head-to-heads here. I kind of want to put the bus up against the tractor to see who wins. So I think we'll do that one first. Bus and tractor going head-to-head. -head. Who is the better big vehicle? I don't know. We'll find out. And then maybe these two? Because if I'm going off of pure looks, these two are the coolest. Like, I would actually drive these in real life. The way it's set up, I like this car. I would drive it in real life. It wouldn't be my first choice, but, you know, I wouldn't be upset to have to drive this. Or this. This would probably be the one I would choose. If you were like, you could have any car in the garage. I mean, the twin mill's probably worth quite a bit. The Magic Jail Bus is pretty awesome. I believe that was like a Lamborghini tractor too. So like value wise, there are some other options that you might want to pick. But if I was just going off pure looks, hmm, delicious. This one right here. I believe the Twin Mill would crush anything here um, if it could go straight, which I don't think it does a very good job of that. What do we have in here? We have a supercharged V8 versus a straight six. I'm trying to think what actually might be like a somewhat fair race. Maybe the Barracuda and the Pacer? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. The The Fair Lady isn't exactly a drag car. It's more of a show car. I mean, it's hard to race when you're when you're that low. So we'll do a little bit of a drag race between these two drag-like vehicles. But this one definitely wins the looks category out of all of you. This one is hilarious. So that, that can win the hilarious category. And then we'll see who wins in the head-to-heads. I guess we could have put the two Jeeps head-to-head. -head, but I can almost guarantee you the SRT8 Jeep is definitely beating whatever the hell this thing is. Let me, let me click on that engine. I want to see it closer, damn it. It's, it's not going to win. Wait, let's see. What's the what's the horsepower? We're looking at 
285 horsepower versus 469 horsepower. Not great. What was the horsepower on this? 307. This thing, I believe, blows everything out of the water. Yeah, 975 horsepower. <laughs> All right, and uh, if there are any license plates or anything like that that you want to see on the finished vehicles, I don't know which ones. Well, this one can take a license plate. We could put one on the bus. The tractor can't get one. The pacer can get one. And the Cuda already has one. Too fast for you. Oh, well, we're going to find out if you are... Siri, hey Siri, can you get one in the CUDA already? Has one too fast for you? And she said, hey. Apparently I said, hey Siri, can you get one in the CUDA already? Has one too fast for you? Siri, you need to stop listening to my conversations, all right? It's creeping people out. Nothing is sacred anymore, all right? I'm having, I'm having alone time with my people, with my homies. But all right, yeah, so any, anyway, bus, pacer, feel free to name them if you so choose. I mean, we already got the magic jail bus, but I don't know if that'll fit on a license plate. Probably be pretty hard. All right, we're definitely going to need a better name because this was the best, this was the best I could come up with. Magic jailbs, magic jailbus. This is the kind of this is the kind of plate that you sit there in traffic and you're like reading it over and over. Magic jail jail bus, magic jail bus, magic jail magic jail bus. I got it. Ah, oh, you see that? And then you tell your friend because you don't want them to have more time than you to figure it out. So you didn't tell them before, and then you're like, hey, look, look, magic jail bus. You get it? Yeah. See, you wouldn't have got that without me. I'm smart. <laughs> don't don't you just love those kinds of plates? I sure do. Alright, well, um, I guess we'll do the slow vehicles first. We're not even going to look at the horsepower. We're not even going to look at nothing. We're just going to take them on out to the speed track and see who wins. Lamborghini Nitro versus the Magic Jail Bus. Right on the Magic Jail Bus. First up, the Lamborghini Nitro Tractor. Has, does anyone know someone who actually has one of these? Has anyone even seen one of these? Do these exist? I didn't know there was actually Lamborghini tractors. That's impressive. Oh yeah! Sick burnout. Left the line with grace, like a gazelle. I feel like the bus probably has a pretty good chance of winning. At this rate, if the bus doesn't win, oh my god, what have I done? I like steered and it shifted gears and we lost a lot of momentum. But we got a 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 12.13 seconds. And a top speed of... ...210 kilometers per hour. So, 12.1 seconds, 0 to 100, top speed, 210 kilometers per hour. Let's see what the bus can do. It's got to be 12.1 and 210 for the clean sweep, pure victory. We got the much larger, full of metal bars and stuff. So hopefully, the tractor doesn't get s schooled here. That would be embarrassing for Lamborghini, for everybody. That's not looking good. That's a quick bus. That is a very quick bus. A hundred kilometers an hour in 4.4 seconds. It wasn't even fair. It wasn't even close to fair. Well over 210 kilometers per hour already. Pushing. It still had a little bit more to give, too. It might have went up to 300 on a longer track. So there you have it. The Magic Jail Bus for the win. Over Lamborghini themselves. Yikes. Let's just, let's just hide those real quick. Now for the actual drag showdown. The D 
DLC Red Dot Made Plymouth Barracuda with the Hemi versus the mod made Pacer X with the supercharger. We will see who can get the job done. Boy, do they look good. Which one first? Which one first? I think my money's on the CUDA, so we're going to do the CUDA last. Let's see what kind of time the pacer can set. Why are we, like, on an angle? This is weird. We don't seem to be sitting very straight. But we don't need to sit straight. We just need to go straight. Oh, wait. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, oh there it is. Here we go. Please don't spin out. We need to set a time. Oh, it looks like a true drag car off the line. Look at the blur on the damn intake scoop. That's how fast we're going. Already over 300 kilometers per hour, and we have maxed out 0 to 100, 2.6 seconds. Top speed of 309 kilometers per hour. I might be eating my words, putting my money on the CUDA. Because, um, wow. 2.6309. Let's see what we can do. Sounds like a damn 747 is about to take off, is idling on the runway right now. Let's see what this Hemi can do. Alright, we got a little bit too much wheel spin off the line. We did lose the 0 to 100 by over a full second. Mind you, this does not have slicks on it, so I think it is at a little bit of a disadvantage in that sense. But can it beat, what was it, 310? It's not looking good. It's not looking good for the CUDA. I think I backed the wrong horse. Mm. It, it would have needed a lot more runway to get there, but it did have more to give, I think. And there you have it. Too fast for you. Not too fast for you. Or, that was too fast for you. Too fast for yourself. I don't know. Well, there you have it. The Pacer won. The Bus won. And in my mind, the 240Z is always a winner. Doesn't even have to go to the track to prove it. Well, that's going to be it, folks. If you guys want to see more in the future, do me a favor. Tickle that like button. Leave me a comment down below. I am going to be saving this for a special episode, but we will do it very, very soon. I know you guys have been seeing it like every freaking episode. At this point, you're probably tired of it, but we will be doing it. It will be coming. And if you do want to see more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 in the future, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And remember, keep your dirty dick beaters off my tools. Take her easy. Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take her easy. <laughs>